Be sure to look in this description box and also check down here because we'll have a list of all the ingredients so you can make this delicious recipe with us. So we're going to get started with pumpkin puree. We're going to need pumpkin puree for a few things, right? Just one thing. One thing? Yeah. Oh. It's going to be good. Now we're going to use chopped dill. Why the dill? Dill because, you know, for me, I love herbs. So having a fresh ingredients, fresh herbs, it'll make a whole dish come from zero to a hundred. So. Exactly, because mm -hmm. fresh is best, right? Fresh is best, fresh always. Is best. Then we right here, we have some chopped parsley right here. Yeah. I love that. Love more herbs. Yeah. We have some cilantro yeah. over here. Mm -hmm. I love cilantro. You know some people, they don't like cilantro. Did you know right. that there is actually like an enzyme on some people's tongue that makes cilantro no, taste like that. soap? What? Did you know that? Yeah, yeah that's true. But wow. personally, I like cilantro. Yeah, I love it too. Yeah. Guacamole, salsa, Ooh. all that good stuff. It's like really good. Guacamole is blessed. Yes. Bye bye. I can't even buy it up. <laughs> then I, we have garnish uh, scallions right here, chopped up. It's gonna look real nice when we're done with that. We have some butter. We're gonna use butter, and yes. we are advocate of using real butter. Can we say like no margarine? No margarine. But we want butter because we like the real thing. Yes. I mean, God flavor. created us to be real beings, yes. right? So why are we using fake stuff? And you create flavor. So with flavor, we're gonna use regular butter. So, but you don't need to use too much because you like healthy. Yes, yeah. moderation is key. Moderation. So we have heavy cream. Yes. We got black pepper. We got paprika. Mm -hmm. We got your red potatoes. Red potatoes. Why red potatoes? Red potatoes because for me, I could bring other potatoes, but to me, it, it brings out more flavor. Mm -hmm. I like it rustic, so I, yeah. I like to use the skin the on. Skin. So. Yeah. Because you know, with other potatoes, you can't really use the skin too much because it's not very good for you. It's really and actually, yeah. red potatoes are actually one of the most healthiest potatoes mm -hmm. besides sweet potatoes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a natural healthy yeah. potato. So we got red potatoes. We got asparagus right here. Because we need green and yes. color because yes. we it's, eat. It's, Yes, <laughs> yes. Then we have, you know. We need protein. protein. So we got some chicken. You can't have food without protein. You can't have food. I mean, you can have food without protein if you're getting a vegetarian yeah. meal. However, you will still have protein even in your vegetarian meal, Most especially definitely. if you eat beans. Yeah, so we're going to use some, you know, chicken rice. rice. <laughs> yeah. So what I have right here is garlic powder. Oh, yes. This is like one of my best friends. See, people don't understand. Flavor, flavor, flavor when you eat your food. But, um, Garlic and onion powder. Onion Major powder. Major key. These two right flavor. here, they balance your flavor. They balance the taste when you cook your food. A lot of people don't know that. They just use salt and pepper. It's cool, but if you want a well balanced flavor and something that you'd be like, okay, that is really good. But if you really want to hit them with it, yeah, bam, like, you put the pork. garlic and the onion powder because that's Together. really going to pop the flavor. Right? All, yes, all the way. Did I use kosher salt? Kosher salt is one of my favorite. And we got some minced. Uh, garlic. garlic. So we love garlic. Too. We love garlic. We need the flavor. Yes. And I think that's all that's of our it. ingredients, yeah. right? That's all all right. Meat. So since we have all of our ingredients, let's get to cooking. Let's go. Let's get. So we're over here at the stove, and we're gonna get started with cooking some few things. But what are we gonna get started with first? First of all, we're gonna start with our red potatoes. Red potatoes. Chop them up. I love potatoes. Yes, me too. So we'll start. So we're gonna chop them up. I can get those chopped up gotcha. for you. Thank you so much. All right. So how exactly do we want to chop up these red potatoes? We're gonna core them, cut them in half, and then core them. We're gonna drop them in this good okay. old hot boiling pot right here. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna core them. So that means cutting it in half. Yeah. Taking the two halves. Cutting that in half, and, and then in half again, diagonally. Kind of like that. So you want to get like four quarters, right? Yeah. All right. Perfect, perfect. So I'm going to pass them to you. You can put them in the water while I get the rest of these cored. While we're doing this, we could probably multitask, right? Yeah, so in between we're cutting the potatoes, um, we're going to get our uh, boiling water ready for our asparagus. We're going to use this technique called blanching. When you use blanching, you um, put in the boiling hot water, let it boil. What I'm going to do first is before I can get these asparagus ready, I'm going to add kosher salt in there. See, when you put salt in What does in, that do? It's going to harry the process up with when it comes to boiling. Okay. And it's going to flavor your uh, the food that you want or desire when you put it in boiling mm. water. Flavor, right? Flavor. So important. Taste is so important while cooking. Yeah, and especially like when you're living a healthy lifestyle, a lot of people tend to think that, oh, I can't be bothered with eating healthy, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't do 
that because it's so bland and mm, flavorless. Yeah, but yeah. you can eat food that has that flavor. That tastes good. Exactly. And still be healthy, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. One more potato. These, these potatoes are huge. They are. These are like some good looking hey, potatoes. I always believe if you go to the uh, grocery store, Walmart, get big quantities because they'll help you out in the long run. You don't have to eat all your food in one day, you know? Right. Store food. You know? Yeah, that means, you know, you can prep things mm -hmm. ahead of time to have for the week. Exactly. Right? So you don't have to be bothered exactly. with worrying about yeah. what you're going to have for the week because yeah. guess what? You already got things prepared and ready exactly. to go. Exactly. It's called meal prep. Let's see. Yeah. So. All right. So we got these all quartered. All quartered. Yep. This is going to boil the water. We'll place this aside. Meanwhile, this is going to boil, I say, from 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. Let that boil. Cool. And then we're going to put that on low heat. Meanwhile, we can get the asparagus right here. Okay. Now look at those beautiful asparagus. They look so good. Nice and vibrant. And you know how you can tell if your asparagus is still good? You want to take a look at the tips? The tips, uh -huh. If they're not mushy, that means they're still good. Then you're good. <laughs> exactly. So we're going to put this in here. Drop them in there. We're giving them a bath. Yes. You know. Yes. So what we want to do when it comes to asparagus while blanching uh, asparagus, we want that nice vibrant color. Right. We want that nice crunch to it. Yes. So we're not going to boil them like potatoes. We're going to boil them like asparagus. So mm -hmm. give that at least, I'll say, five minutes. Mm -hmm. We're going to take that out. And then I have my bowl right here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to place the, uh, the asparagus there. Let's and in eat. our bowl, we have some water, water and yeah. ice. Water and ice. Mm -hmm. This so right here. It's cold. Yes. <laughs> this right here, it, it tempts, it stops the cooking process when you take them out of this. Exactly. Yeah. So let that cook for a minute and we'll come over here to the uh, protein. All right. So we're going to take our chicken. We're going to season our chicken. Uh huh. And we're going to use the herbs we have. We have dill right here. Okay. So I'm going to season your dill up. I believe in doing both sides. Okay. Both often, sides. Because oftentimes people just do one side and you right. taste the flavor for. So yeah. let's take our, our chicken and flip it, give it a flip. And we want to make sure we're doing both sides yes. because we don't want one side of our chicken to be seasoned and mm -hmm. the other to not be seasoned. Gotcha. We're going to have a little bit more on this side. And dill is a really nice flavor. Yes, it, it, it stands it out, it, it is strong, and it's like you're going to taste it. There's no doubt that it's on there. Exactly. Then we have right here is your cilantro right here. Mm -hmm. we're gonna, um, this, and of course, we're going to take another flip. Exactly, on both sides. And see, you don't have to do this all the time, like in the house. These this, these techniques you can do on a, at a barbecue. Mm -hmm. Put the herbs on it, you know what I'm saying? Season it like that. Oh, I can imagine how that tastes on yes. a barbecue. Yes, add like a little lemon, grill. citrus, put all that. Yeah. Little, I put some lime zest, lemon zest on top. That's it's nice and refreshing. That sounds you can make delicious. kebabs with this. Kebabs. Yes, mm -hmm. but, you know. Yeah. Make sure you hear our like button if you want to see some kebabs on Faith and Food. Yeah. Maybe that might come to see. Yeah, so next we have we have is the parsley. parsley. See, parsley for me, it's been a while for me to um, grasp parsley because I really didn't like how strong it is. Really? But after a while, I was like, okay, you know, I tried I try it with different foods and contrast it with other things. I was like, okay, I, I'm vibing with parsley. You, you can so, vibe with parsley? Yeah, so I'm a newbie so when it comes to parsley. So you're a newbie parsley. Yeah, I like okay. cilantro and dill the, or, or tarragon. Those three right there are my go-tos. Gotcha. So... Yeah, so we're gonna use our seasonings. What I love is, like you said earlier, garlic. garlic. Okay. I love garlic. It's like yes. so good. Mm -hmm. It really is a great seasoning. It's a really good flavor. Let's use the side. Yeah. So we know. <laughs> See, I'm so used to using that other side. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna season that nice. It gives a good flavor to anything you're putting it on. You know, garlic is really versatile. You can put it in eggs, yeah. you can put it on chicken, steak. Yes. You can put it in a salad, yeah. you know, making a dressing. It would be really good with some olive oil and yeah. a little bit of vinegar, mm -hmm. some garlic and pepper and a little bit of salt. Yes. Then I have some onion powder. Onion powder. All right. So we eat. We seasoned garlic and onion powder on one side, and of course we're we'll flipping our stuff over and yes. season the other side. Yes. And you know, one day we're gonna hope that this cooking show will have. 
smell of vision So on. you can yes. smell, smell it. Smell it. Smell it in here because it smells amazing. We haven't even put anything on the fire yet. Yep, we haven't. Perfect. That's good. Now we're going to add a little cayenne. See, cayenne is cayenne. One, of my favorite, heat. one of my favorite seasonings. Little like heat. a little kick. I need a little pow. Yeah. Something from the back of your throat. Impact. Yeah. So, so somebody knows, what's that? Yes, That's exactly. There. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need much. You don't need much. You don't is, want it to be hot. Little is much in this site right here. Right. Like this. Yeah. And this side. Perfect. And last but not least, we're just going to add our salt and pepper. Perfect. So we're going to add some kosher salt and some cracked pepper. pepper. I love pepper. I love but the crazy thing about too about kosher salt as well as you know you guys know out there my favorite salt pink Himalayan mm -hmm. you don't need a lot yeah, of it little is much little I'm just to you. give it a little bit of flavor yeah. that's it you don't need too much and it's gonna really oh we didn't do this out yet it's really gonna bring out and enhance the flavor of your food okay now we're flipping this over yes. And I love this because there's so many colors already going on in the tea here. Like so you already party. know that this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be super tasty. Super, super tasty. Alright, so we got our seasoned chicken mm -hmm. now. So now, we can get to cooking this. Cooking this, uh, we're gonna drizzle a little bit of extra virgin olive oil on this. Because when we start cooking it, we don't want this it chicken stick. to stick on it. Right. Because it's gonna be so we have a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. I love it. I love and it. let me tell you a little story about this one. It's special. This yeah. is special. This uh -huh. is from Italy. Okay. We went to Italy. Wow. You guys stay tuned because we're going to have a special episode for you guys soon on Faith and Yeah. So stay yeah, tuned, yeah, yeah. okay? So we're going to take this Italian olive oil and drizzle a little bit over it. Drizzle, right? yes. Perfect. Flipping over because we don't want the other side to get sticky. Yeah. Okay. So then we're gonna come back over to our stove over here mm -hmm. and we're gonna cook this, right? Yes, we need to check on our asparagus. Yes, yeah. So we're checking our potatoes. We want to make sure that they get tender. And you can do that by sticking a fork in it or a little bit of a knife. Have a little knife and you can test the potato. Not quite, not quite there. So it needs a little bit more time. Yes. Just like sometimes we need with the board. Yes. More time. <laughs> <laughs> and so we got our asparagus here. They still look beautifully green. Nice and vibrant. They still need to cook a lot more. Okay. But so we're just going to give this some time and let it get cooking. We're gonna check back on this in a little bit. So we've let our stuff cook for a little bit longer so that we can make sure that it's kinda ready, right? Yeah. So the first thing we're gonna do actually is cook our chicken, right? Cook our chicken. But we can't cook our chicken on a dry pan. We need a little bit of oil, because oil is a little bit necessary. So you know what? I'm thinking we should spray it down a little bit. Oh, okay. you know, I, I love our Italian oil, yes. but I'm gonna spray it down <laughs> with some of uh, this cooking spray. Yes. So just a, enough to cover the pan because we're not trying to get it to be super oily, right? Yes. Oop. Got the back there. Be careful, people. Be, be careful. careful. Kids, if you're doing this, make sure you're doing this with an adult. Yes. So now we're going to add the chicken breast. Okay. So, you know, I see, Chef, that we have both our pans and a cooking sheet over here. Yes. So are we doing something a little special? So what we're going to do is we want nice grill marks on this chicken. Right. And so we know that when you put the chicken on it, it's going to cook, but it's not going to cook from the inside, inside out. Right. So therefore, mm -hmm. we're going to cook them outside and then put it in the oven. So, so in the inside. So cook. inside they can cook. And it's a good the, technique. And the heat balances all that at one time and it cooks perfectly all the way through. So we're going to get our chicken breast right here. And we have our... Um, Stove on a medium high heat right medium now. Medium high heat. Mm -hmm. Never high, high. No, we don't want to burn the house yes. down. That's not that's so, not good. We're gonna flip the oh. I love that sound of the sizzle. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it too though. Make 
make sure we don't waste any of that good stuff. No, right no, no. Oh, it's good Stop stuff. it up. Now we have, we're using, utilizing a cast iron skillet griddle. Yes. So that means it has like the line so that it can make the grill marks on it. Nice grill marks. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Like you said earlier, like we eat with our eyes. Right. right and we want this to be appealing. We don't want it to be like, right. okay, cafeteria. You don't want to serve this to somebody, yeah. your friends, and be like bland, white looking chicken. Mm -hmm. All right. You want color on it. You want the nice grill line. Yes, yes. So, They're gonna ask you if you got it from the store. Yeah. Or and, a restaurant. And you're gonna say, it came from my kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> and they're gonna be like, oh, really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, as we cook at this chicken, I really believe that when it comes to chicken breast at this side right here, cook them at least six minutes on each side. And then when you, when you flip it over, we're gonna put it on a uh, sheet pan. Right on there. a sheet pan. So okay. We want some nice grill marks to so let that cook for. Give it wow. some time. And meanwhile, yeah, I'm wondering about our asparagus. asparagus. It's looking pretty close to me. Yeah. Uh, we need our tongs. Oh, our tongs is here, but we can utilize something else. Testing our potatoes to make sure that they're cooked well. They're looking good. Again, I wish y'all had smell o vision because. Amazing. Amazing. In okay. here. So we're gonna check this chicken. Alright, so we're gonna look at our chicken. Get the check. And we're checking if we grill marks. So we're not quite there. Not but the cool there. thing is that chicken gets opaque. Uh -huh. It turns white when yes. it's cooking. Mm -hmm. So that's how you so know that, it's getting Those good. are all indications. Yep. Yep. So is that cook? Alright. So I guess meanwhile we can, you know. So we're talking about unbothered today. Unbothered, right? yeah. You know, I was, you know, talking to God a couple days ago about, you know, staying focused. Because right. oftentimes in our relationship with God, it's hard for us to stay focused in time. We're worrying about our job. We're worrying about our family, our friends. We're worrying about all these unnecessary things. But he, God reassured me and let me know that, no, focus on me. Right. Seeking first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness shall be added unto you. Right. Seek first. Seeking first. Like, yeah. if you seek God first, you, oftentimes we make God a resource. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But not the Our main all in all. Source. Yeah. Yeah. And I, it helped me understand that when I focus on God mm -hmm. at the source, that He puts everything in line. Yeah. So I don't have to worry. I don't have to be emotional. I don't got to pull my hair out. It's going to keep me in perfect peace if I keep my face on Exactly. You know? And the craziest thing, too, about God is like when we set our eyes upon Him and we're yeah. focused and we're in this direct connection, uh -huh. mm -hmm. then everything else that's flowing outwardly from us is yeah. going to work together. Exactly. Right? Because it says right, He puts everything to work together for our good. Good. Yes, right? yes. So, whatever we're doing, whether it's cooking in the kitchen, be, yeah. whether we're on our jobs or doing anything, exactly. we don't have to be bothered by the, the circumstances or the things that are going on around exactly. us. Exactly. We can just trust in God that mm -hmm. He will take care of us. Because he loves us, right? He, he says, look at the birds in the air. Yeah. And the flowers in the field. They don't worry about anything. They don't anything. worry about nothing. Nothing. So why should we be anxious why we or worried about it? You know what I'm saying? Right? That's amazing. He's so good. good. He is. <laughs> awesome, buddy. But yeah, it's just understanding that you don't have to worry about things. God has it under control. Always. And, so, under and, control. For, and for me as a chef, you know, my expression to God is through my food. Yeah. And so, you know, it helps me to stay humble. It helps me to stay focused. And it helps me just to worry about the main thing. Right. Oftentimes, we don't worry about the main thing because we're so scatterbrained about other about things it. in life. But when we focus on the main thing, right. and that's Jesus Christ, to help me to have the ability and the gift to even do demonstrate, it, demonstrate yeah. all of this. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And just to do it. Yeah. And the crazy thing is, you out there, you just don't have to be like Chef Marquis Terrell, no, have the chef title. You can be your own chef in exactly. the kitchen. That's why we do this cooking show, to yeah. show you that you can also make wonderful dishes exactly. in the kitchen. Just as so long as you stay connected and you do the passion that's inside of you, the one that God gave you. And yeah. just execute. And look, right? you'll be on a TV show. You'll be on a show, <laughs> So we're gonna check on this chicken yeah, here. I, think I feel like good. we have some grill marks on yeah. there. Ah, oh, there they are. Ah, oh, there they are. Oh yeah. Ooh, we gonna put that. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? 
flip that bad boy over. Yeah. Right there. Real You're going to flip this one over. Okay. <laughs> We're like super excited. Can you can yes. tell everybody about it. We that? are. Because we have expectancy. Yes. Expectancy. Oh, mm, expectancy. Uh, I will come through. Yes. All the time. So meanwhile, we're gonna check you the script. I really believe they're done. Yes, they look pretty. And we're gonna take them out. We're gonna All right. Come over here. All right. So we're taking our scary cup, and like he said, blanching process. Blanching. So it, it's cooking. She took it out. Even though she took it out, it's still cooking. So we're gonna take it out. We're gonna put it in the water, and therefore the cooking process is done. Yeah, we don't wanna keep the cooking happening. Yeah. We got some stubborn asparagus. They're running. <laughs> they missing their blessing. They still wanna cook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we got them all. Got them. Perfect. We're gonna we let that, turn off our water. Yeah, we're gonna let that set for a minute right here. Let's check this. Yeah, I think that's what it should be good. All right. All right. So now cook. we have our grill mark, mm -hmm. and we're gonna get it a little bit more time so it can grill on the other side. Yes. Asparagus, and we have 
have a little bit of grill marks. Yes. I'm make, flipping them over. Yes. Uh, over here, I'm gonna add some heavy cream to the mash, uh, mashed potatoes. Then I'm gonna add me some kosher salt. Then I'm gonna add me some black pepper. Mm. And we're not adding anything to this asparagus because we deep glaze our pan. Yes. So it's picking up the flavor from the chicken. Yes, so that should be good. We'll get those nice char marks on there. We should be good. I'm gonna mix a little bit more. I love potatoes. I love potatoes too. Yes, yeah, so wow. back there I am reducing down some heavy cream because we got pumpkin puree. So what we're going to do is we're going to warm up this pumpkin puree. So use what we've got right here. Add this in here. So we're adding pumpkin puree to our heavy cream back yeah. here. So we have this, these fresh herbs, this nice grilled asparagus. I'm gonna cut it a little bit. I'm gonna cut it with a little sweetness because oftentimes if you have too much savory, you'll, you'll miss a little sweet. Right. Balance, right? It's all about balance. Yes, it is. So we're gonna let that reduce down a little bit. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna grab this over here. Okay, little asparagus. Get some of this asparagus off. That looks good. Nice. I know, right? Because you know it's like it's about to get cooked yes. or it's on the verge of being done. Transformation. Yes. Come on. That's good. Yeah, I love it too. Mix this up over here, the parade. So we got our parade in the background getting mixed up with our heavy cream. And I know what some of you might say. Heavy cream? Mm -hmm. How is that healthy? We do everything in moderation. Moderation. Remember, you don't have to eat things that are super heavy and fattening. Yeah. You can have a little bit of it, yeah. but you, the key is to not overdo it. Exactly. Moderation is key. I really believe that. Yes, it is. Because oftentimes we, as Americans, we like to overdo it and we find ourselves gluttony. Right. Stomach hurting, migraine headaches, throwing up. Right, because we know. overdo it. Yeah, moderation is key. So we're gonna allow that to cook a little bit in the snack. I'm gonna turn it down for the puree. But I think that the potatoes should be good. I'm gonna turn it on a little. Okay. So we're gonna let this let asparagus this cook. We're gonna let our pumpkin puree cook a little bit. Mm -hmm. And we should probably start getting ready to put and plate our potatoes. Yes. So Chef, we pretty much have all our ingredients all ready our to ingredients. go, right? Yes, we do. So I think we have to take out our chicken. Chicken, yes. But we added a little something extra to our puree, didn't yes, we? Yes, we added, make it a little more, more sweet. I added a little honey. A little bit of honey. And a little bit more cinnamon mm -hmm. to give it that nice savory a sweet little taste. Extra pop. Yes. That's good, that's yes. good. All right, so we're gonna get to taking our chicken out of the oven. Yes. We gotta put on our gloves because it's hot. Yeah. We don't wanna burn ourselves. We do not. So we got our chicken coming out of the oven. Oh my goodness. Look at it. It is beautiful, 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 beautiful. So we got our chicken ready, we chicken. have our asparagus, yes. we got our smashed potatoes, yes. and we have our pumpkin puree for a little touch of sweet. Yes. So we're gonna get to plating this. Yes.
nice smooth, but yet it still you taste the red onion feel on skin. And the thing is, you still have texture. It's not just smashed. Yeah. It's got a little bit of bite to it. Yeah. I'm gonna get a little bit of this asparagus right here. Today we just want to let you guys know that stop worrying about the stuff that doesn't really matter, right? Right. It's all, not important. It's not important. It's Let's not keep the main thing the main thing. You know, oftentimes we as believers, we focus on things that don't really mean nothing when it comes to God. God wants us to stay focused. God wants us to be, you know, head and not to tell more than conquerors. Ooh. And so today, Understanding through the food today, then don't be bothered. You know, Colossians 3 and 5, you know, paraphrase it says, set your mind on things above and not things but underneath. We, we set a low level, you know, goal when God says you're more than conquerors. You can be anything that God has allowed you to be. And that's so good because God wants more for us. Yeah. He wants us to live life, to yes. live it abundantly. Yeah. And He wants things. He says He has treasures stored up in heaven yeah. for us, yeah. right? So when we set our expectations so low, mm -hmm. we're not allowing God to do what He's priced to do. Exactly. We are not allowing Him to be God. And be God. And so today we want you to understand that don't be bothered. Don't be so bothered. So we're unbothered mm -hmm. by focusing on God. Unbothered. We're casting our cares yeah. on Him. We, yeah. Mm -hmm. We're throwing it. Casting. Giving it to Him. Because we're not bothered by we it. We ain't bothered. Check it off. <laughs> Keep focused. Let the main thing be the main thing. Shake it, dust it off, dust it, yes. don't soak it off of that thing. Exactly. And don't be bothered. And don't be bothered. Don't be bothered. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Faith and Food. If you liked what you see, be sure to leave us a comment down below, hit that like button, and oh yeah, don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't miss anything that's going on here at Faith and Food. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe to this channel. And it was so amazing and wonderful to have Chef Marquis Terrell here cooking with us in the Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. We loved it. Is there any way that we can get into contact with you? Well, you guys can follow me on Facebook and Instagram, uh, Uncompromising Taste, for both. And I'll be there. Yeah. Cool. So make sure you 